Hallo, mein Name ist Stefanie, ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich möchte gerne wissen, ob in der Bürgerinitiative, die es jetzt gibt, ob man da tatsächlich was ändern kann. In short, yes, in theory. But the road is long and strewn with challenges, so don't expect a project to become EU law overnight. When the European Citizens Initiative was woven into the Lisbon Treaty and launched in April 2012, it was hailed as a world first for transnational participatory democracy. Shortly after the launch, some of the initiatives in the pipeline included animal transport, gay marriage, GM crops, and, marking Europe Day, the Commission's very first registration, Fraternity 2020, Mobility, Progress, Europe. The idea behind it is to intensify cultural and educational exchange in the name of European unity and solidarity. Any of that appeals? Well, beware. Turning a dream initiative into real legislation is not for the faint-hearted. First, you have to assemble seven like-minded souls from seven EU member states in a citizens' committee. Then sketch out your proposal and register it with the Commission. They've got two months to say yay or nay. If it's yay, now you have 12 months to collect a million signatures. Ready? Go. It can be on the streets or online, but must include a minimum from seven member states. In the biggest, that's 74,000. In the smallest, 4,500. Phew. Then after everything's been verified by member states concerned, you have the chance to explain your initiative to a senior official in the Commission and to a public hearing at the European Parliament.